in this video we are going to discuss about the anatomical snub books we will be discussing the boundaries and contents of the anatomical snub books so first of all what is this anatomical snub books the anatomical snub books is a hollow space which is formed in the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist which is bounded by some tendons and we will discuss about the uh, boundaries and contents of this anatomical snub books so this anatomical snub books is a hollow space which is found in the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist here now we'll look at the boundaries of this anatomical snub box for that we will draw the diagram first so we'll draw the radius bone first uh, you can see that this is the radius bone and you can see the ulna here so this is the ulna and the radius and then the and you can see the radius is having a styloid process on the distal aspect. Now I will discuss about the origin of some muscles here. Um, so the abductor pollicis uh, longus muscle is originating from both the bones. So which is this? This is the radius. And which is this? This is the ulna. Abductor pollicis longus is originating from this. And the and you can see that there is other muscle that is extensor pollicis brevis which is originating from the radius and there is extensor pollicis longus which is originating from the ulna so this is extensor pollicis brevis and this is extensor pollicis longus now the uh, muscle passes distally like this okay it passes distally like this and uh, this muscle also goes like this now the tendon of this muscle passes distally these two tendons passes very close to each other and the tendon of this muscle also goes like this now on the distal aspect and the other posterior lateral aspect of the wrist you can see the styloid process of the radius and he can see the scaphoid bone here and there is a trapezium bone here so this is the scaphoid this is the trapezium bone and this is the styloid process of radius process of radius okay so what do you see here this is a tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis so this is the tendon of extensor pollicis longus so you can see if you see this picture you can see that there is a hollow shape which is formed between these tendons so this hollow shape is formed or bounded laterally by so this is the lateral boundary of the anatomical snub box here so that this is the lateral boundary so lateral boundary is formed by is formed by tendon of you can see here extend tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis now you see here that this is a medial boundary of the anatomical snub box the medial boundary is formed by tendon of extensor pollicis longus how can you know that this is the lateral aspect this here you can see the radius so this is the lateral aspect here you can see the ulna so this is the medial aspect so lateral boundary is formed by these two tendons that is tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis medial boundary is formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus so boundary is clear and what is the floor of this anatomical snub box you can see here the floor is formed by the styloid process of radius scaphoid and trapezium so all these three structures will be forming the floor of the anatomical snub box and you can see that there are two tendons that is the tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis these two will be forming the uh, these two will be carpeting the floor of the anatomical snub box. So floor is being carpeted by floor is carpeted by tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. 
So anatomical snap box become very easy laterally bounded by tendon of abductor bolus longus and extensor bolus brevis medially bounded by the tendon of extensor bolus longus floor is formed by styloid process of radius scaphoid and trapezium floor is being carpeted by tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis now we will see the content on the roof of this anatomical snap box so I have drawn the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist here. You can see a hollow depression here. Here you can see a hollow depression. We will draw the boundary of this depression first. So I will draw the boundary of the anatomical snap box. So we know that the laterally it is bounded by the abductor pollicis longus tendon and extensor pollicis brevis. So you can see the extensor pollicis brevis like this. So this is the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis. Well, you can see medially that it is mounted by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. So this is tendon of extensor pollicis longus. Thus will be forming the lateral boundary and this will be forming the medial boundary. We know that lateral boundary is also formed by the tendon of abductor pollicis longus also so it is located slightly on the anterior aspect so i have drawn the extensor prolysis brevis tendon only okay and we will discuss the contents of the anatomical snub box so we know that the radial artery it passes like this it passes towards the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist like this so it is through this region that the uh, radial artery passes in uh, through the dorsum of the hand and uh, so radial artery it winds around the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist like this so radial artery will be forming the only content of the anatomical snap box so radial artery That is the only content of anatomical snap box. So this is the only content of anatomical snap box. So if you are asked about the content of anatomical snap box, the only answer is radial artery. So the only content is formed by the radial artery. And we will see the roof here. The roof is formed by the two structures here. You can see that the cephalic vein is formed here. The cephalic vein will be forming the roof here and there is another structure that is the superficial branch of the radial nerve also passes over this like this the superficial branch of the radial nerve So which are the roof structures forming the roof that is cephalic vein and superficial branch of radial nerve. So that is about the anatomical snub box. Uh, we will brief this. So what is the anatomical snub box? It is a hollow space in the posterior lateral aspect of a wrist and it has boundaries the lateral boundary and medial boundary so the lateral boundary is formed by the tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis medial boundary is formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus alone and the floor is formed by which are structures styloid process of radius scaphoid and trapezium floor is carpeted by tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis and the only content of anatomical snap box is 
sorry uh, we'll discuss the roof also roof is formed by cephalic vein and superficial branch of radial nerve the only content is radial artery so palpate the anatomical snub box for the pulsation of the radial artery so you can feel the pulsation of the radial artery in the anatomical snub box so this is very important because uh, radial artery an important structure is forming the content of anatomical snub box here so thank you for watching this video to see more videos on our channel please subscribe the channel thank you